Officer Maxwell, you know why you're here, right? Who knows? There's plenty of people after me right now. I feel special. You're that shitty of a cop. Don't answer that. Everyone here already knows. Joker. Name ring a bell. Don't get scared now. You messed up the Joker, now the joke's on you. Wait, hold on. That was dumb. Why don't you use the one we agreed on? Which one did we agree to? I don't know. Something about a cat. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You had nine lives. Now you're on life nine. I know this is unique. Important situation we have here. But can you please do a background check on the next guy? After you fire this idiot, can he at least have a high school education? Shit. Even McDonald's requires that. You both are idiots. And yes, Officer Maxwell, I'm his wife. And you owe him money. Trust me, I'm not doing this for him. The fact that you owe him means you owe us. We know that's why you arrested him. We also know what time your alarm clock goes off in the morning, what you eat for breakfast, the route you take to work, etc., etc. So let's make this easy, shall we? My asshole of a husband had a mistress. God rest her soul. She told me before I killed her my husband had another house. He had stashed $3.2 million in the closet of the master bedroom. Now, I want you to go into your computers at work and get me the address for the second house they raided so that I can retrieve my money. The address wasn't in public record. Why don't you just ask the mistress before you killed her? I'm impulsive. And I was really excited to kill her. And if she hadn't been a homewrecker, then she wouldn't have had to worry about it. Anyway, just in case, maybe you're thinking, I don't know, about going and getting the money yourself, you will be followed. until I have my money back. Don't make me get my hands dirty again. Get me the address by tomorrow. Untie him. How are you even up right now? I know a way we can make some fast money. Lots of it. I'm, I'm not stripping again. I'm still traumatized by the old Asian women. Is it soup me, fook me, and do me? No, no, no. Remember that Joker arrest that we made? Do I remember the biggest arrest of our careers? Yeah, I think I remember that. Well, he had two houses on record. And the one that we arrested him at apparently was his second home. His wife didn't even know about it. Here's the best part. There's $3.2 million stashed in the walls of his house.
That money's probably long gone. His wife and I are the only two that know about it. If she didn't know about the house, then how would she know about the money? And why would she tell you? It's a long story, but she wants me to find the house for her. Are you with me on this? Do you know how to get to the house? Because I don't. Uh, okay, that's weird. That's, that's weird. They only put the street down on the arrest report. And he doesn't even have the second home in his list of assets. He must have got it under a fake name. Shit. So we have to go house to house until we find out which one has the money stashed. You know, I saw that whole stupid thing you just said, right? Uh, wait, what? Junior has a diaper for you. Can you change it? I, I'm so delirious. I don't even know where I am right now, actually. Uh, to be honest, I mean, I, I'll change it later. Seriously? As well. You already changed it. You just wanted me to smell it. Congratulations. We both smelled the shit. It stinks. Thank you. You gotta knock him in the ass Hi. Hi. You here to talk to us? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, we're the Andersons. My name's Ryan. This is my wife, Deborah, my daughter, Mary, and my son, Hank. Nice. You always answer the door as a unit? Well, we're just so darn excited. Oh, uh, what's, uh, what, what's the occasion? Come in. Come in. Uh, thank you. Have a seat. <clears throat> so, um, we're interested in becoming... You are. Honey, please. So we're interested in becoming Mormons. Really? Well, we're Jehovah's Witnesses, so I, I don't know how. Uh, well, if you're not Mormons, I'm afraid I'll have to ask you to leave. Uh, what? I mean, <laughs> we're Mormons. We're, I don't, I've said that before. Yeah, he we were at the store that time. Yeah, you know. We're Mormons, though. Yeah. We are. Oh, great. Well, so tell us all about it. Oh, um, well. Yeah, why don't we do this? Why don't we? Why don't you ask us questions and then we'll answer them? I think um, you may more know more than you think. So, okay, they reveal things to you. So, so the whole marriage thing surprise, is surprise, surprise. I'm aware you can have more than one wife. No, 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 no. What? No. no. What? I absolutely not. It's a religion, not the Playboy Mansion, so that doesn't happen. That's weird. Perhaps the only thing I know about Mormonism is that you can have more than one wife. That's why he's interested in converting? Oh. Uh, you know what? Of course you can have more than one wife. I meant like going into Mormonity, Mormonality, Mormish. Um, <clears throat> you can only have one. So. Oh, well, perfect. Yeah. Um, so... Yeah. After we've done that, what's what's the cap? What's the cap? Does that mean you can have more than one mom? No. You can have a mom for every day of the week here. His name's Hank. Oh, but your new moms might come together and decide to change your name. So I really want to get too comfortable with my name, Crystal. No, I want my name to be Nicki Minaj. Do you have to be kidding me? Where did you hear that name? Well, it's the name that's 
pops up before I start my search on Google. Yeah, I always see it too. It says Nicki Minaj Nate. Hey, no, it says Nicki Minaj is a Mormon. Mm. Uh, I went online, did some research, and mm. verified uh, that, that, that that was true. Of yeah. Yeah, um, I'm with you. Uh, but let's let's stay on topic. <laughs> so the whole multiple wives thing. I'm, there's, there has to be a limit, right? That's not what it says. I don't know. Do you have a computer? Sure. So let's let's do this. Why don't we treat it like a new experience, a learning experience for both of us? You know. Um, yeah, and then you know that way we can just fully immerse ourselves in all of the wonder. The wonder. The wonder. That. Sounds like a great idea. Right. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's do that. Yeah. Uh, it's, computer's over that way. Yeah. So the multiple wives thing is a more traditional Latter Day Saints church. That, uh, that's correct. Um, traditionally. <laughs> Bless you, Deborah. Thank you so much. I, d I don't know. Where would I even find these churches? Uh, most likely Utah. <laughs> What's wrong with the wife yet? Yeah. I don't know. Ask me how, how often I receive oral. How often? Never. What? Why? <laughs> she has the worst gag reflex in the world. Uh, must be packing. Packing? Like, like a big dick. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm actually very, very small. It's frustrating. Look at her. She can't even uh, eat a chip without gagging. What, huh? No one's gonna even bless me? No! And you know what, I'd take that first bless you back. You're unfathomable. Spell it. You know what? I'm gonna help Brian get six more wives, all without a gag reflex and a quiet sneeze. You told him about my gag reflex? No, we see it. I hope you sneeze your damn nose off, Deborah. Hey. You know, she may have a ridiculous gag reflex and sneeze like an idiot, but she is still my wife. And I will not have you speak to her that way. You know what? I don't need you. I don't need more wives. I don't need any of this. I'm afraid I have to ask both of you to leave. Now. You know how hard was that? What? I came here to show you that you didn't need more wives. One beautiful, annoying woman is enough. You know what? Bring it in here, you two. Bring it in. Bring it in. Let's do this. Let's. Yeah. There goes them tears. There, you know. There it goes. Oh Lord. Okay. Ass out. Ass out. Calm oh, down. You getting a tear? You getting a tear in my neck? This is how it happens. I can't tell you how much I've appreciated this. I have my husband back. Hey, we forgot to ask. Uh, how long did you live here? Going on seven years. Thank you. Hey, wait. If we ever need your help again, just stand on the porch and clap three times. We'll hear your call.
Thank you.